The last thing I want to talk about is how you can create your own grade scheme. If you're looking for a way to track assignments that students have handed in, providing the students feedback, but not really giving them a grade, let me show you how this can be done using a grade scheme. To get started, click on Schemes in the Grade section. To create a new grade scheme, click on the New Scheme button on the left-hand side. I'm going to call this Grade Scheme Assignments. This grade item will display one of three options to the students. All right, so we have three symbols, not submitted, resubmit, and completed. The starting percent column will tell us what symbol the student will receive. If a student receives a mark below 20%, they'll receive a symbol that says not submitted. If they receive a mark between 65 and 20%, they'll receive a symbol that says resubmit. If they receive a mark over 65%, they'll see the completed symbol. You can change these ranges anytime you want. If you want to set a threshold a little higher than 65%, that's fine too. I have assigned a color for each one of these symbols, and under the assigned value percentage, I've assigned zero for anything that's not submitted, 50% for anything that needs to be resubmitted, and 100% for anything that we mark as complete. Now remember, we're not going to be using these percentages in our grade calculation. They're really just there to indicate whether or not the student has completed the assignment successfully or not. Click Save and Close to save your new grade scheme. There it is right there. Now I'm going to go back into my Manage Grades and I'm going to take a look at my Dropbox assignments. So on this application assignment, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to change the grade scheme to Assignments and Save and Close. If I go down to the folder for that assignment, I'll see that I have one assignment handed in. If I click on Evaluate, I can take a look at the assignment. I can provide any feedback I want by either adding a file audio recording or video recording. I'll give this assignment a grade and click Publish. When I go back to Grades, this time I'm going to stay in the Enter Grades tab. You'll see that instead of a mark, it simply says Completed. There's one more thing I do want to change though. Under Manage Grades, remember we said that this type of assignment wasn't going to actually go into the grade calculation. So what I need to do is I need to edit the weights of my Unit 1 grade items. Click on Bulk Edit and I'm no longer going to be using the application assignment to be part of my calculated grade. So I'm going to change the weight of this to zero, but that means I have to adjust these ones as well. I'll change this to a 30 and this to a 70. And click Save. Now any marks that I give this Dropbox assignment won't count in the overall grade calculation. So everything looks good on my side. Let's take a look at what it looks like from a student side. But before we do that, I need to go into my settings and I need to change what my students are going to see. You'll see that my personal display settings are grade scheme and grade color. But when we set up the students, we put down point grade and weighted grade. I'm going to change that to grade scheme symbol and grade scheme color and save. For that student, I'm also going to enter a grade in for the skills quiz, even though they didn't complete it, and the unit test. So if I click on the drop down arrow and click on enter grades, for this student, I'm going to enter a mark of 10 out of 15. I'll hit Save and Close. And then going back to Manage Grades, again, use the drop down, Enter Grades. I'm going to put in a mark of 44 out of 65. Hit Save and Close. And I should see that the student's mark is roughly 66% because that's how he did on the skills quiz and that's how he did on the unit test. If I want the students to see their overall grade, I can click on the drop down for final calculated grade and select enter grades. Now I can select the students I want to release grades to and click on release over on the right hand side. I can release grades to all my students at the same time by selecting all of them and then clicking on the release unrelease button at the top of the page. I can also hide all final grade calculations by clicking the Release Unrelease button one more time. For this example, I want EdTech to be able to see his grades. I'm going to hit Save and Close. Now I'm going to jump over into EdTech's account and take a look at the grade section to see what he sees. You can now see that his final grade or his calculated grade is there marks on his skill quiz and on his unit test are percentages and the application assignment is simply marked as complete. 
if I go into the Dropbox and take a look at the assignment that was handed in, it simply marks as complete. The Gray Tool is a very powerful tool, and I'm sure you'll find lots of great ways to use it. Good luck.